Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will discuss biotin that is vitamin B7 or vitamin BH deficiency. I will discuss its biochemical action, dietary sources, causes of deficiency, clinical features, diagnosis and treatment. In addition, I will discuss briefly three important biotin responsive inherited disorders, biotin responsive basal ganglia disease, holocarboxylase synthetase deficiency and biotinidase deficiency. The biochemical actions of biotin, it is a water soluble vitamin and function as a cofactor for enzymes which are involved in carboxylation reactions within and outside the mitochondria. Now these biotin dependent carboxylases catalyzes key reactions in gluconeogenesis fatty acid metabolism and amino acid catabolism. Now the dietary sources, biotin is widely distributed in different types of food making a deficiency unlikely. However, biotin deficiency may result from excessive ingestion of raw eggs because the protein avidin which is present in the egg white bind the biotin and decrease its absorption. Biotin deficiency may also result in children who are receiving enteral or parenteral nutrition low in biotin. In addition, treatment with anti-epileptic drugs may also result in biotin deficiency. Clinical features of biotin deficiency include scaly periorificial dermatitis, conjunctivitis, thinning of the hair or alopecia. CNS abnormalities include lethargy, hypotonia, seizures, ataxia, and withdrawal behavior. Treatment is with daily oral biotin in a dose of 1 to 10 mg. Now, biotin-responsive basal ganglia disease. It is a rare childhood neurological disorder and is due to homozygous missense mutation in SLC19A3 gene. It is characterized by encephalopathy, seizures, and extrapyramidal manifestation. Brain MRI show altered signal in basal ganglia that is bilateral involvement of caudate nuclei and putamen with sparing of the globus pallidus. Now the multiple carboxylase deficiency or defect of biotin cycle. In these two important enzymes are biotinidase and holocarboxylase synthetase. Biotinidase enzyme is found in serum and most tissue and it is essential for the recycling of biotin in the body while holocarboxylase synthetase catalyzes the binding of free biotin with apocarboxylase to produce the activated enzyme holocarboxylase. Deficiency of both these enzyme activity result in malfunction of all the carboxylases and so in organic acidemia. Now a few words about holocarboxylase synthetase deficiency. In this infant becomes symptomatic in the first few weeks of life. Breathing difficulties, feeding problems, vomiting and hypotonia are usually present. Generalized erythematous rash with exfoliation and alopecia, failure to thrive, irritability, seizures, lethargy and even coma may occur. Developmental delay is common. Immune deficiency may result in infections and urine may have peculiar order which is known as Tomcat urine. Laboratory findings reveal metabolic acidosis, ketosis, hyperammonemia and presence of a variety of organic acid in the body fluids. Treatment is with biotin 10 to 20 mg per day orally. Second condition is biotinidase deficiency. It is an autosomal recessive disease. Symptoms appear in later childhood. There is atopic or seborrheic dermatitis, candidiasis or alopecia. CNS symptoms include ataxia, seizures, hypotonia, developmental delay, optic nerve atrophy or sensory neural hearing loss. Immunodeficiency may result from impaired T-cell function and there is increased risk of infection. Lab findings are similar to holocarboxylase synthetase deficiency and treatment is with free biotin 5 to 20 mg per day orally. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.